Time now for the Xfinity men's 200 meters. A lot of star power here, that's normal, but on the post-Olympic tour, we start with the reigning world champion and medalist from Tokyo, Noah Lyles. Yep, he does have that world title from 2019. He was trying to double, potentially, in Tokyo. The 100 didn't go his way at the trial, so he stepped in the 200, where he's only lost, he had only lost one race prior going into that race. Finished with a bronze in Tokyo. Here's Kenny Pitnell. Has an incredible story. He's a twin. His mother, Marianne, adopted he and his brother when they were very young and told him that he reminded her of Secretariat, that he has great speed and could break away from anyone. And here's somebody they got to be worried about. Rye Benjamin stepping down from the 400-meter hurdles where he got the silver medal in Tokyo and the second fastest time ever run behind the world record. His personal best is 1999, but he hasn't run it in three years. Look at him, no pressure. None. <laughs> so much fun. This is going to be awesome. A little mashup post Olympics here in this men's 200 meters. As you look at the field lane, one is open in this new reimagined Hayward Field. They have a full nine lanes, and it's common. Lane one will be big. But Lyles, you know, he does have the benefit of a wild card. He is coming to Eugene next year for Oregon 22 in the World Championships in here. So that's now his focus with Tokyo in the rearview mirror. Yeah, and remember, despite the loss at the Olympic Games, in his entire pro career, he has lost 200 meter races. Once in the Diamond League, that was to Michael Norman a couple years ago, and then in Tokyo. So, Mike, excuse me, uh, Noah Lyles. It's never a bad bet <laughs> in a 200 meter fight. And he's right behind his brother, Josephus. I actually traveled here with them on the flight into Eugene. I was talking to Noah, and he says he's still recovering from the jet lag at Tokyo, and it really was a tough flight for all of us coming back. So we'll see how he's able to navigate that. But like you've mentioned, only lost two races, still very young, a bright future ahead of this young man. Noah Lyles gets the draw in lane seven, but Narek inside in lane six. We get things underway at pre with the Xfinity seven. Men's 200. First ball start of the day. <laughs> and I didn't see anything, Otto. Did you? No. So we're going to get another look here and see if anybody is moving early. I didn't see anything. Nothing egregious, but I got to tell you, I like the way Ryan looked popping out those blocks, Otto. <laughs> Ryan Benjamin got a good start. He is right in the mix. In fact, if anything, he's up a little bit on the Olympic silver medalist, Kenny Benarek, coming off the turn. As they come off the turn, though, it is Noah Lyles in that position of taking the victory, and he sustains his speed and will win this one to the line in 19.52. He's back. That's just off of his personal best, 19.50. He clearly likes running half laps in this stadium. He won the Olympic trials here, and this time that he ran, 19.52, would have won the Olympic Games. Fastest time in the world this year and another Hayward Field record. Well, I got to tell you, Noah Laos has talked a lot about pressure and having to deal with the pressure of going to the Olympics, the World Championships. It's the first time in a long time that we've seen Noah Laos running light, having fun. So Noah Laos is out here. He was in lane seven. He would have had lane choice, and that's the lane that he chose. He was not in lane seven for the Olympic final. He was on the inside, but this looks like the Noah Lyles that became the fourth fastest man ever at the distance some years ago. That's the Noah Lyles that we're used to seeing. He has not looked like that all the time this year, but what a great performance by him. 19.52 now it's confirmed. The fastest time in the world and his second fastest time ever. Right, Benjamin, who we talked about in this race coming down in distance, wound up fifth in the competition. But it's two Lyles in the top three, with Josephus Lyles finishing third in a new lifetime best of 2003. Benaric, another second place finish in 1980. But the world champion delivers on home soil. Noah Lyles is with Lewis Jones. All righty, Noah, you look like you're running free, easy. Describe the moment here. Uh, to be honest, 
I walked out here on the track and I said, shoot, there's a lot of people. That's what I've been waiting on, you know? Two years of not seeing a full crowd and seeing this at Hayward, beautiful brought a tear to my ear. I wasn't even thinking about coming out here. And I was gonna shut it down, but you know, I had to talk with my, my sports therapist. She was like, you know, of course, what happened in Tokyo to happened. This is in Tokyo. You're gonna go out there and you're running for you, you know? I knew I was in shape and I didn't get to show that off in Tokyo. Lengthy was very hard, but I knew that if I got a good lane, I can still come out here and do my best. Awesome, congrats to you and your brother on the personal best. Thank you. Okay.